हेलो स्टूडेंट सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन्थ द विंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू अबाउट पोएट हु हैज़ रिटन दिस पोएम दिस पोएम इज ओरिजिनली रिटन इन तमिल बाय सुब्रमण्यम भारती एंड फर्दर ट्रांसलेटेड बाय ए के रामानुजम इज अ ब्यूटीफुल पोएम दैट डिस्क्राइब द माइट ऑफ विंड देन आफ्टर आई विल टेल यू what does the wind symbolize because it is a theme of the poem it is a title of the poem here you can see the title of the poem is wind here the poem wind describe the power of the wind on nature and human life it focuses on the violent aspect of wind that causes destruction The fierce wind is also seen by the poet as a symbol of adversities in life. It ends with a suggestion that if we remain strong, we can overcome any obstacles. Now, student, I am going to read and explain the poem. Wind comes softly. Don't break the shutter shaft windows. Don't scatter the papers. Now the poet is talking to the wind. He asks to wind to come softly. So he is saying that the wind should not be very strong and loud. Wind should be soft and subtle. Then. he says that the wind is very powerful it is destructive now poet requests to the wind don't break the windows and not to scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again now poet also requests the wind not to throw down books from the shelf because when the wind is very powerful all the books which are kept on shelf fall down so here the poet is describing the power of the wind then he says to the wind to look at the destruction that he had done whenever there is strong wind all the things that are weak like small plants tiny children and all they all get scared and they can even fall and get hurt we can say that in the initial part of the poem the poet is referring to wind as a strong and young child he is saying that it should come softly just like a small child does it also tour dear pages of books and it brought the rain now students let's start second stanza you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings now in these lines there is two word meaning first poking fun poking fun means making fun of something and other word meaning is weakling weakling means a person who is weak now poet again requests to the wind in the second stanza the wind is very clever and the wind god makes fun of the weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies
crumbling lips and crumbling hearts now student here has also two word meaning crumbling in the third line rafter crumbling means falling or to cause something to break then third second meaning rafter sloping beam which support the roof of the building in these lines here the word crumbling is repeated so many times to lay stress that everything crumbles in the face of a strong wind so the writer is saying that when wind is very powerful it is very strong it leads to breakage of everything how says which are weak fall doors which are weak fall the beams on which the roof of the buildings are supported they also fall all the wooden structures fall all bodies of people fall animals leaves hearts so he is saying that everything crumbles everything that is weak reacts by falling down and breaking in the face of adversity so the poet is saying that whenever a weak person faces any adversity or challenge in life he breaks down and falls the wind god when knows and crushes them all he won't do what you tell him so come let's build strong homes now here has a word meaning winnows winnows means to broke grain free of chaff separate grain from husk by blowing on it now the poet is addressing to wind as wind god and he is saying that the powerful god of wind winnows that means he sips all the people and those those people who are weak fall down and get crushed so here a comparison is made between wit and people just like we will know the wit to separate the grain from chaff the wind god separates the strong people from the weak people when there is a strong wind all the things that are weak fall and get crushed the wind god just does what it likes the poet wants us to make friends with the wind the adversities in our lives he says that the problems will not listen to us they will come so we should be prepared in preparation we should build strong homes let's join the doors firmly 
प्रैक्टिस टू फॉर्म द बॉडी मेक द हार्ट स्टेट फास्ट डू दिस एंड द विंड विल बी फ्रेंड्स विथ अस नाउ द स्टूडेंट्स हियर हैज अ वर्ड मीनिंग स्टेट फास्ट एंड इट मीन्स फर्म and poet says close the doors of our houses firmly so that the wind can't get into and then he says that we should also make our bodies strong and hearts firm to face these challenges and then once we are strong enough all the challenges will be like friends we will not feel that they are troublesome to us the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day now student here has a word meaning flourish it means grow the poet has kept the wind on a pedestal he is comparing the wind to god he says that wind is god and we praise wind every day he acts that everything that is weak gets finished off in the face of the strong wind and all the things that are strong flourish and grow to become stronger he is giving us a very important message through the poem wind that we should not feel feel bad that we are facing so many challenges and adversities in life we should make ourselves physically and mentally strong to face these challenges and once we are strong enough we will overcome the challenges we will become friends with them and then we will be happy that we had these challenges in our life because they help us become become stronger and better now poet also wants to say the wind will be friend to us the wind supports the strong but extinguishes weak fires now again poet wants to say the friendship of wind is good and we should praise the wind god 
every day. Now, the poem wind is finished with explanation and word meaning. Thanks.